hello to my friends, my fans, my drinking buddies, and my music on the rock stars. My name is Jeff Brown, and welcome to another episode of Music on the Rocks, the show where I make my way through my music collection and my whiskey collection, one song and one drink at a time. And today, I'm going to play a song by an artist that you'll probably have a lot to say about, and I have a lot to say about, but that'll be for later. For the time being, know that this is a song that has meant quite a bit to me over the years, despite being written by someone who I've had a complicated relationship with as of a couple years ago. This is a song called Dear Chicago by Ryan Adams. Well, dear Chicago, well, you'll never guess. You know the girl you said I'd meet someday. Well, well I got something to confess. She picked me up on Friday. Asked me if she reminded me of you I laughed and lit a cigarette I said that was impossible to do Cause life's gotten simple since And it fluctuates so much Happy and sad back again Without crying out too much I think about you all the time It's strange and hard to deal Think about you lying there And these blankets lie so still Nothing breathes here in the cold Nothing moves or even smiles I've been thinking some suicide But there are bars out here for miles And I'm sorry about the ever kiss the ever kiss you wanted back I think the thing you said was true Never thought I'd feel so blue. New York City, you're almost gone, and I think I finally fallen now. Oh, I think I fallen out of love. Oh, I think I finally fallen out of love with you. That is Dear Chicago, a beautiful song written by a flawed human being. So I've spent, spent quite some time over the last several years trying to reconcile how to separate art from artist in cases where the artist has made mistakes and Ryan Adams is is no exception and the the list the list is long you know it's it's hard it's hard you know the thing about art is that art is beautiful and art is deeply personal and art makes art brings people together and art makes people think and feel and it makes horrible things into beauty and it is also created by humans and humans can be deeply flawed you know it's hard it it's hard 
to reconcile all of this because Ryan Adams has written songs that have spoken deeply and directly to me. And he's written songs that have inspired what I do. And he has also made a lot of mistakes. And he's owned up to some. And he has taken steps to become a better person. And he's denied a lot of other allegations. And, and I don't know. I think it is absolutely crucial to never dismiss allegations that are made against people. Are they true? I don't know. And that is not the point. The point is, is that artists can be deeply flawed human beings. I am a deeply flawed human being. I have said things and done things over the years that have hurt people. And I have almost certainly said and done things over the years that I don't even realize have hurt people. And that is shameful. But I try really hard to be a good person. And I have taken steps to be even better. And I believe that Ryan Adams has made mistakes and is a troubled, flawed person that is almost certainly trying to be a better person. Do I know that that's true? I don't. But the hope that that might be the case makes it a little easier for me to reconcile and to separate art from artist a little bit more. Because I do, I, I love the music that he's made. And it's hard when that music is made from a imperfect person. We can't all be perfect. You know, I still know all the words to Remix to Ignition and nothing will change the fact that that's a banger of a song despite the fact that R. Kelly is not a good person. I mean, God, even, you know, people that love J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling has written a universe of stories that have, you know, made people's lives better. And boy, she's rough. And th I think the, the biggest problem I have that, with that is that there are people that genuinely try to make amends for things that they've said and they, things that they've done. And I can respect that. Because as human beings, we are, we are obligated to change our perspective when presented with different facts different ideas and different viewpoints and we grow and we evolve and that is crucial sometimes when presented with arguments and facts you deflect and double down and that is not good and that is the biggest problem I have with the Potterverse but that is another conversation entirely you know what I need a drink this is, this is heavy, and all I wanted to do was play a song that I love. And uh, I think it's important to talk about these things. Um, my friends, Music on the Rocks is about playing songs and drinking whiskey. And let's do that. <laughs> let's celebrate beauty, and let's celebrate deliciousness, and let's celebrate songs and art that bring people together despite the fact that they are made by imperfect beings. And I'm digging a little bit deep into this one. Today I am toasting with Southern Comfort Black and in order to do that I have to push back a lot of memories I have of Southern Comfort which are less than less than ideal. Um, Southern Comfort Black, I don't entirely know what the difference between Southern Comfort Black and Southern Comfort Not Black is, but uh, this is the bottle I got. 
I remember Southern Comfort being basically sweet flavored vodka. Uh, I know it was made with a with a neutral spirit for a very long time, and since Sazerac purchased it in the oh, 15, 16, something like that, um, my understanding is that they have been adding more of the actual whiskey base to it. So, huzzah. Um, let's see where this goes. Southern Comfort Black, my friends, as always, please be well, be safe, and when faced with the choice, always be more kind. Cheers. Oh, this well, this smells sweet as hell. This is, this reminds me of the days of Southern Comfort. This is better than I remember it. Granted, I mean, that might be just the difference between Southern Comfort Black and Southern Comfort. It, it is very sweet. It is very fruity. I'm, it, it, it feels a little bit like drinking cinnamon bubblegum. Whereas it's, it's got that, that thick feeling, but not nearly as thick as I remember Southern Comfort being in like the college days. But it's got a very strong cinnamon spice to it. This is, I bet this would be spectacular on ice. Um, this is, this is enjoyable. I don't think I would have too much of it, and I am fascinated to see what it's like real cold. But uh, Southern Comfort Black, better than you remember Southern Comfort being. Certainly better than I remember Southern Comfort. Whew, today's been a heavy episode. Let's have a little bit more comfort. I will see you all next week.